but that is tedious and it's error prone. And so to streamline this process, I developed a uh, tool to make it a little easier. And I'm going to show you how that works. It's a, um, it's a command line tool, but um, it's, not, it's not difficult to use. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with um, command line tools and uh, how to install them, um, I've written some instructions and I'm also going to walk you through it. Uh, so the tool is called a Flight Plan to Lychee Mission. It's available um, here on uh, this website, uh, GitHub. Um, I have instructions here for installation and running it for both Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. And also to make it a little easier, it, it is open source. So if you want to download the source code and build it from, from source, uh, you can. If you want to modify it, you're free to. Um, but to make it a little easier for everyone, I've created uh, some pre-compiled um, binaries um, so you don't need to build it from source. So we're just going to install those. They're in this folder here uh, called bin, which is short for binary. And you just select your appropriate uh, system architecture. If your architecture is not here, uh, just send me a message. If you uh, say a 32-bit architecture, I'll, I'll just post another um, binary here. But we're on, um, we're on Mac um, ARM 64-bit, so we'll use this one. Here's the program, FP2LM. And so we'll just download that. And the, in, the installation instructions are really just, are just cut and paste. So you can copy these commands. You can open them uh, right up in your terminal. And you can just run them. So this first command is going to create um, a new folder in your home folder uh, called bin. This is just a convention mostly on Unix systems that uh, programs that are just installed uh, for the person using the system are installed home folder um, in, a, in a directory called bin. Um, so we'll just follow this convention. What this next command will do is it will move the file that we just downloaded from our downloads folder into the folder that we just created. So that's done. We can of course uh, verify that. Uh, the command ls will list the contents of a folder. And there it is, fp2lm. On uh, Unix and Mac OS systems, you will also need to tell the operating system that this to treat this file as executable so that it can actually be run as a program. And so that command will um, accomplish that. You don't need to do that on Windows because it uses the file extension. Uh, these next two commands, um, 4 and 5, are technically optional, but we're just going to do these uh, to make our lives a little easier. This, this first one will add, the, will add this program to our path on a Unix system. We have this environmental variable uh, called path, and it is just basically the list of folders that the system will search when uh, you type in the name of a program to run. So uh, this, this command will add the bin directory that we just created uh, to our path. The only thing we need to change is this text between the uh, brackets. We'll need to change that to the, uh, the, the name of our own home directory. And then this second command will make that permanent by um, adding the... Um, adding that line of code to our, uh, essentially our profile, which will be uh, run every time uh, the user logs in. So just make sure that that environmental variable is constantly uh, set appropriately. Is the, the final command and the most important command, and this is the command that you would actually use uh, to run the software. And well, I'll, let me explain what this command line does. Uh, so this program, uh, cat, C-A-T, it's short for catenate. Basically what it does is it's going to take a file as input, which is the flight planner mission.csv file that we just created, and it's going to send that file as a stream into our, uh, our FP2 
LM converter um, software. If we want to make this explicit, just for demonstration purposes, I'll put the complete path uh, to, that, um, to that tool in, home directory, bin folder, uh, flight plan to lychee mission. This um, tool has an option uh, here. You can use the D uh, flag to set the, uh, the distance. And um, remember, we, we wanted uh, 23 meters, uh, the inter-photographic uh, distance. So we can set that there. And then this to take the output of that, and the preceding instructions, and send it to a new file, which is going to be created on our desktop. And this new file's name is going to be lychee-mission.csv. So that's it. That's the, whole, that's the whole command line. It's actually very simple. If you do this a bunch of times, you can just um, save that, copy it, and, and paste it in when you need to run it. We don't get any error messages, which basically means that it succeeded. And um, when we open this, uh, this new file up, that's the old one. Uh, here's the new file. And you can see that we have now, this is proper format uh, to be used by Lychee. So latitude and longitude, our altitude um, in meters above ground is all there. Um, our heading, um, one thing that I st still have to do for this, uh, this software is the heading just defaults to 360 degrees. So the aircraft is going to be oriented due north and it's basically just going to crab as it flies its flight plan. It's not actually going to turn. Um, of course, if it's a quadcopter drone, um, that works well enough. Um, so, but in a, in a future version, um, I'm going to modify it so we actually have correct uh, turning instructions. But this will, this will work. This will get you going. Um, I'm just showing you the contents of this file. Uh, don't modify any of it or... Um, it may not load properly, and um, you might also um, have unexpected problems. Okay, so now we can go back to um, Lychee Hub, and we'll go to our missions. We'll go to Import. We will choose the new file that we created, lychee-mission.csv, on our desktop. Upload that import it, boom, done. There it is. Um, so when you run this mission, uh, your aircraft will, of course, you know, go to waypoint one, and it'll start flying the circuit, and then every 23.4 meters, it will take a photograph. Now, one of the, the downsides to that is you will probably get a few extra um, photographs, depending on your, your workflow and the type of mapping um, that you want to do, you know, it's, it's always better to have a little extra um, data for error correction purposes. If um, anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in uh, comments. Um, if you uh, use the conversion software, you know, for uh, flight plan in QGIS to Lychee, you know, feel free to give me a star on GitHub. I'm going to work on my own to keep expanding uh, this, this toolkit and work in some additional uh, features, and I'll keep everyone in the community updated. So that's all for now, and thank you very much, and uh, wish you all safe and productive flying. Thanks.